Hello and welcome back to Pocono. It's time for the Party in the Poconos 400. And joining me in the booth is Stephen Paul III. How are you, Stephen? Hello, we, hello, Charles. We have, we have our, we are here for the Party in the Poconos. We have got all the fun stuff in the booth for the party, and we are here to see a bunch of replacement Jarvis try to beat the big boys. Uh, yeah, that is very true. On the poll today, it's a, it's the third time this season, but Dylan Young got got it done in pr qualifying. And starting on the outside is one of the replacements. It's Jonathan Zorline in the 14, replacing Ronald mess, Ray Hall. I'm going to mess his name up so bad, but sorry, it's Zorline for that. Yeah, so Momo Akari and Mary Shelley make up row two. William Duncan and Jeff James, who's moving over from the 15 to the 29 to replace Elijah Workman, who was injured for the se are injured and out for the season due to the wreck at Pigs Creek. Well, he then, kind of died. <laughs> What row is that? Three? Yeah, something like that. Row four is Chris Washer and Trevor Meacham. And in row five, we have Brian Parson and Allie Nelson. And then we'll go through the... As I go through the rest of Stein Grid, I'll hand over to Steven. Well, I'm the, I don't know what to expect. Truck race, we had a uh, we had a death fest, and now we had a boring race yesterday. What was a boring race? It was a good finish. It was especially good for the winner. I already forgot who the winner was. Katie was Elizabeth. Katie Elizabeth. Good race for Katie Elizabeth there. Uh, my pick, I don't know what to expect here. Uh, I'm hearing the guys have fixed the, uh, some of the grip lanes on the track. So, uh, and my pick to win, I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to pick Brendan Berg to be the, one, the first driver since season two day Toyota 500 win his debut. And I'll be right back. And Charles will okay. hand it over. On the final row, you saw Seth Cole and Henry Sanford, who when it was announced that Jeff James would be moving to the 29. DEI contacted PPI Racing to ask if Henry would be available to come over there, and sure enough, he was. Drivers, stop your engines! And the command has just been given. Other guys in new rides, and in fact, actually, that covers the two drivers who switched rides in between race 21 and 22 here. The other drivers in new rides, you saw them on the grid. Replacing Nick Pericles is Jessica Shelton in the 9. The aforementioned Brennan Berg will be in the 19 instead of Zachary Fitzwater. And finally, or, or sorry, in the 22, making his return to the series is Stephen Paul III. And finally, in the 32, replacing Henry Sanford is brother Charles Sanford, carrying a 57-race winless streak coming into this already. So we'll have to see if he can break that streak before the end of the season as apparently crowd is roaring as they come down the back straightaway. Uh, as Steven mentioned, yeah, grip. Um, tires were modified a little bit in between Nationwide and Cup race here, hoping that the cars will be able to stick to track a little bit better and not wash up it too much. The cars are complaining about being loose. Um, but my pick, he's been fast all weekend long. I will pick Jeff James in the 29 to get his or to get the win today. Jesus Christ, this, this track is long. I did left for like five minutes and we're still under the pacing. Well, part of that is how early we started on this one. We started a little bit early. Um, the points picture coming into today. Brennan Patterson comes in as the points leader by 15 over Will Lewis. Then it's Tom Shelley, 123 back. The other Shelley, Mary Shelley, 126 points back. Daniel Day rounds out the top five at 215 back. So only the top four can lead here as the points leader. The rest of the top ten coming in was Nick Pericles, Gabe Williams, Elijah Workman, Dylan Young, and Seth Cole. Obviously, that will change a lot. We're anticipating yeah. Charles Jackson and Henry Sanford to kind of move into the top ten in points. But right now, as they come in and get the green flag, the wild cards coming into today, Charles Jackson and Trevor Meacham. And the thing to also look at, I don't think Charles mentioned it, the last time the Steven ran this track, he actually did win. So that kind of is an interesting factor there. That part I'm not sure about. We ran here twice in season one. Steven won one of them and Sosnowski who won the other. And oh my gosh. Well, this, are, they're already, this is already more exciting than the nationwide, right? Yeah, three, three wide, wide down the long straightaway, and it's Mary Shelley going inside for the race lead. I'm getting reports the officials might have put too much grip on the track. Uh, who knows? Oh, oh Zorline got on the wall, but they stay green, I think. Mary yeah, Shelley, no troubles. Who, and Mary Shelley, who can technically, technically leave her as the point who really wants to, 
lead the lead the race to get another win. It's the third win for Mary. She won a Canadian Tire a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah, it'd be third win of the season if she can get it done. Um, and the fourth win of her career, not including the non-points win that she had at the All Star race back in season one. Go on, the bomb. Yep, and I think you're actually pronouncing it correctly, by the way. That's actually amazing. Um, but yeah, Jonathan Zorline in the number 14 going for second. Roman Rahal had that car 39th in owner's points, so obviously already doing a ton better than Rahal did. Well, Zorline is a very, very unknown driver. I've never heard of him in my life before, so he's actually really impressing here. Here comes Brendan Patterson, the person Mary Shelley did not want to see coming to the lead. Uh, same. Meacham grabbing third away from Dylan Young, I think, and yes, he will. Now, the thing is, what I'm seeing is Mary Shelley now is pulling away just like Nova and Brad Mojo did in the other two races, but Nova and Mojo did not win, so I don't oh, think I want to be thinking about... You're thinking of Wait, Kyle what? Thomas, by the way, in trucks, the guy who pulled away. Oh, oh Kyle, it was Mojo and Kyle... Oh, it was, oh, it was, it was, it was Mojo Kyle. chasing him down. It was Kyle Thomas dominating. You didn't correct me yesterday on the front. I didn't Nation think Pro. about. I didn't think about it, by the way. That's why. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If you're watching the Nation Hard Race, this is my incorrect fact. Um, Momo Kari grabbing fifth. She is the lowest in points of those that have completed every single race this season. Well, well you can't go lower than uh, Steven Brendenberg. Well, I mean, the only line. people she's ahead. Of, she. She's actually only ahead of um, Maxwell Chan, Cosmic Nova, and then the replacements, obviously. So yeah. that's why I'm saying 41st in driver's points, but the lowest of anyone who's competed in every race. A very, very disappointing season today. They're pulling a Kenny Bale and Kyle Matthews in the truck. And they By the way, I will say this. Kenny Bale moved out of the cellar in Nationwide. Oh, that's... Oh. Who's that one in the cellar? Uh, you'll see. <laughs> oh. Well, Jonathan Zorline catching up to the back bumper of the 38, I think, a little bit. But meanwhile, Brennan Patterson trying to go inside of Trevor Meachin to make it Ford's 1-2-3. Not able to get there, though. The truck winner moving up to the field. Uh, and I see your pick there just out, just inside the picture. Brennan Berg right now runs in the seventh spot. Uh, he had a great one. Uh, did he race in truck Charles? I don't remember. Uh, yes, he did. He was in the 39. Oh yeah, he did. He did. He did. Uh, so so in the truck nationwide, he almost got the third one. He might have killed the stats this way, but he did a really good job in that car, and he's doing really well in the 19 here. Yeah, Zachary Fitzroy, the former driver, that Zachary had the car 19th in the drivers' points and owners' points before leaving it. I mean, I'm really disappointed to Zachary leave. I mean, I didn't know what he did wrong, but uh, he obviously got replaced, and now we're going to see a new talent of Brendan Burke. I'll, I'll explain uh, that one to you a little bit later, I think. Uh, but oh, Patterson dang. now, once again, trying to get inside of Trevor Meacham, the defending champion, not able to get it done. You see, he's, he's just trying to get into that corner. He just can't, but, I can, but unlike uh, what Kyle Thomas and uh, Cosmic Nova did, that 38 is not pulling a big enough gap on the 14 of Zorline there. Zorline is reeling him in. Not sure that Mary Shelley's really worried about pulling out there. Maybe trying to just conserve a little bit while in the lead. Well, well after Maybe after watching, well, she was in both races, so maybe after watching those two races and seeing the leader pull that gap, you think they could pull. Well, he gained, well, she gained four tenths of them right there, but we still have at least two pits, one or two pits. Oh, that's four hundredths, by the way. Um, yeah, at least one. A guy I see falling towards the back is this guy, Kyle Matthews. Uh, was running the sixth a little bit, a little bit ago, but now running in the back half of the top ten, and I think Wash just took him out of it. Yeah, I mean, Kyle Matthews uh, had a great run in the truck until I think he hit it for like two laps to go. So, tough break for Kyle there. Well, obviously still has time to get back up there, but right now Kyle Matthews falling towards the back as I see Jeff James in the wall in the 29. Mm, here comes Charles Jackson. I, I, I am really, really am rusty in a cup car because I haven't even cracked the top 20 yet. <laughs> well, let's find the 22, shall we? I, I'm having a feeling I'm in the way, way in the back. I see, I, there, oh I, my oh god! What the, what the hell, Charles? What the <laughs> heck? Uh, Charles, I think I might have got turned. No damage on the 22, only getting... They were 197 uh, going into that corner. Uh, Waller Charles... is not even going to crack 190. Well, barely uh, cracks 190. I think I might have broke his spell. I think I, think I, uh, think I should stick to pit recording. Um, 22 might be down a cylinder there in the Bill Davis car. Look at my last lap time. 
A 132.6 compared to a 51.67. 22 um, obviously uh, off the pace. I, I, I'm, I'm having a feeling I obviously got turned there. I don't <laughs> think. I don't no know how you would have won. Oh, well, there is I, some I skin marks on the turn. On town turn. I don't yeah. know. I, I'm pretty sure I got turned because I wouldn't be going off. What a 130. So I watched this lap here. I bet you it's going to be at least in a minute something. Oh, we'll see. This is not obviously the return I wanted the to have. The 22 is actually a lap down. Did I make a pit stop? What the hell? <laughs> um, so 51.8 to these guys 52. So a little bit better. Okay, so apparently 22 made a pit stop for some reason. There are skin marks that there. Out. That could be related to it a little bit. We're going to have to check it out after the race. We're going to have to remember, and here comes Brendan Berg. I mean, Berg is moving. He got past Patterson, who dropped a few positions there from fourth to sixth, already seeing Paul's difficulties there. Yeah, Berg right now runs in the top five, right behind Momo Akari, so not too bad for Akari either. And I'm guessing the little bit of extra grip we, the officials added have not made the racing a little more exciting. As well, everyone it's is actually, pile. it's a lot less of a wreck than I was expecting. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd rather see a few a caution because, you know, everyone is literally single file besides that guy, Mary Coley. Ma Mary Coley. Mary, Mary Coley. Coley. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful all extra expertise commentary. Wait, Mary Cole is, the chef, is one of the chef's jars, right? Yeah, that is. I I'm getting man. <laughs> well, we got battles back here. Kyle Matthews outside of Charles Jackson. Duncan inside of... Uh, Gene Sanford and Tom Schultz. Oh, no. This might be a wreck. Oh, don't go three wide. Hello, oh, no. three wide. Yep. I think uh, Jeff has scared Tom Shelley after Las Vegas, so I don't think he's making those rash moves. <laughs> well, I think they're actually going to hold this three wide going down to turn one, so apparently uh, at least, you, if nothing else, the grip at least helped improve the inside line coming off of turn number three. Oh! Oh, Duncan! Hard in the wall, Kyle Matthews! No caution, no, they no, no caution, caution, no caution! They're still green! That's gonna be caution! No, they saved it, saved it! Oh, no, oh, saved it! Everyone, they're they all on the grass! They almost saved that, that is amazing. They're all on the grass, and Paul's gonna get his lap back, maybe. No, don't plow, don't plow! <laughs> don't plow! <laughs> okay, oh god! I well, that. that they actually made it that far down the straightaway before wrecking there. Well, um, Char uh, I cannot, the 99, two, two Roush Fenway cars destroyed in that wreck. And the return for Charles Sanford is going to end as bad as Stephen Pollock's lap time at that one point. <laughs> Eric and Rage are also involved. Didn't see that part. And Eric and Rage, he's one of the wild card holders, I think. Um, no, he's about, like, fifth in the wild card hunt. Oh, that's not going to help one of his wild card shots. And uh, this is the first time we've seen a caution since the green, white, checkered, and truck. So Amy, we Shelley have has some Amy Shelley has some damage. Looks like Perko might have some damage to the right front of his car. We have gone 31. Oh, 30 God. Oh, no. Oh. Hard into the rear end of Gabe Williams. Oh, no. Well, then. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A uh, bunch of distance game. Uh, Stephen Paul III is officially destroyed. Let's go back to, let's go and see the replay before I plow some more. <laughs> and we are back. Here's what happened. We saw this part, and I literally thought they had this saved. The first, wreck, the first caution in 33 laps, Zero Pocono, boom! Oh, well, we also got to check the Apollo in today, because uh, that's not happening there. And, oh, oh yeah, my that's God. right. Okay, well, we'll check that out as well. But oh, I it. still thought they had this pretty well saved. But then watch Duncan come down the track right in front of Jeez. Matthews. Who comes up at the game and Charles. And then the Duncan's just continuing to come down the track. They're, they're running in now the watch, grass. And yeah, watch the 99 back there. And more specifically, right now. Oh, God. Charles is so lucky the 44 was there. You might have hit the trees there. They well, were 44 was there. There's involved, the third RCR car in this. Uh, i never seen bump drafting in the grass. But that looks like that's what happened with Amy in the 78. <laughs> well, we do have the Pollard wreck to look at, and I'm pretty sure drivers are going to make pit stops here underneath the caution as well, so we'll have to take a look at that. And we're back. We had to go all the way back to lap three to find this, but Stephen Pollard III was running in 14th at the time, 
It's going to hit and then, just at the end of the pit, uh, the safer barrier wall there. I, I thought it was Nicolaev trying to relive our rivalry from season one turning me, but I guess it was Eric and Rage in the 33. I can't even remember who it was that he got into. It was Time Pollard. Uh, time, we, well, we all pause to defend each other here. As, like He's still going backwards ahead of half the field, so we got that accomplishment there. Ah, uh, gets it going, comes down the pits, lost the lap. Uh, you actually uh, end up pitting the next lap. Oh, Pitted the next lap after that, but speaking of pit stops, I'm pretty sure there are pit stops under caution. Let's take a look at how those went for everyone. And we're back here are the pit stops underneath the caution. You see Daniel Day staying out. That's big for Daniel trying to gain those hashtag points. Um, I'm hoping Pollock stays out too. Oh, who's down the pass? Big Alaya. That's Nicolaya. Nicol That's Samper in the 32 just in front of him. Yeah. And Stanford's Daniel Day awesome. will get the five bonus points for leading the lap. Mm -hmm. Big day for him. William Duncan's already out of the race. Um, yeah, Duncan's out. The 66 and the 15 also staying out. The 15 of Henry for. Man, we are really going to have a party in the Poconos if Henry Stanford wins the race. Well, it looks like people on pit road going for at least some so sort of tires here. Four tires for Meacham is the call. Hmm. And Dylan Young getting and four tires like, here. Yeah, four tires for everyone. Brendan Berg, second off pit road. And I told you, Brendan Berg, he's making the move. Did Kyle Matthews just appear on pit road? Uh, I don't know. I think he might have some contact. We're going to have to rewind it just a little bit to see that. And I have... Matthews literally just, like, appeared on pit road. Oh, rare big damage to the 44. Oh, oh. Um, um, uh, I'm gonna leave this one to Charles to comment because I literally think what I'm seeing is he's doing 22, he's going 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. Ah, oh, screw this, the car is dead. I think I'm just going to um, um. I, I don't have know. no idea. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I think someone got scared the crap out of. Uh, and it I'm would gonna... be Eric and Rage in 33. I don't know what exactly was Kyle Matthews' line of thinking here. Um, I think he's thinking he won the race. Woo! I won! Woo! Oh, crap. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and go back to the restart now. And we're back, and look at this. This, was li this is literally the next lap. The four guys who stayed out all pit. Why did you pit, Steven? <laughs> Eric and Rage also pitting. So, oh, yeah. very interesting strategy call here for the 2, 15, and 66. Now, just remember, these pit stalls are different because this is like a 2009 track, so you have different variations of pit stall comp. And the flagman singling go, 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 so. Uh, no, that's the stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Eric and Rage back in the pit, and I think the 66 is the first one to come off. Two tires well, for Pollard back there. No, four tires for, looks like... Whoa, 33 going with some sort of strategy call. And Daniel Day going to get be the 66 up. beating the two out, and then the Ooh. 15. And then Kyle Matthews just left the pit to cry his oh, own misery. Well, they finally got the tow job done. And he's actually still going to drive after doing burnouts on the track. That is amazing. Yep. Now let's go ahead and go back to the restart here from... Yeah, we'll go back to the restart here. Mary Shelley now leads. And we are back. Those out of the race are Alex Perkel, Amy Shelley, William Duncan, Charles Sanford, and Vitaly Nikolaev. So the return for Sanford not going all that long. Wow. The only series where he actually had any sort of success was probably the Nationwide. Well, instead of the headphone fund we talked about yesterday, I think it's the fuel fund for Charles' team. <laughs> well, Mary Shelley is the leader. You have two lap cars in Pollard and Matthews. Then it's Brennan Berg in second, Trevor Meacham, Jonathan Zorline, Mary Cole, Momo Akari, Brennan Patterson, Chris Washer, Ish Taylor, PJ Williams, the top ten. Then the pole sitter, Dylan Young, Tristan Wilhoit, Maxwell Chan, Allie Nelson, Gene Sanford, and Tom Shelley, the two teammates. Charles Jackson, Katie Elizabeth, Jeff James, and Will Lewis, the top 20. Then Kyle Thomas, Chris Lubier, Kyle Sosnowski, Troy King, Gabe Williams with some rear end damage. Probably in the stack of Jessica Shelton, Drew Austin, Tom Gerard, Seth Cole, Makoto Gucci without a hood in 30th, 
then Alex Hawkins, Eric and Rage, Alex May, Daniel Day, and Henry Sam for the top 35. There is Matthews. Oh no. Oh god. Well, uh, let's watch this. Oh, this is gonna get bad. Oh no. Well, he's oh, gonna. No. Don't fly out. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> well, you know, when you're only if this was the restart. It is the restart. So I mean, like they went green. He was just flying that fast to start. That would be oh. hilarious. Well, he did catch up, so Matthews is here for the restart. Ton of damage on the 44, though. I mean, Paul is not lined up with that 38. Green flag. So that's, a little, that's a little bit of a bad officiating call by the officials right there. And look at Zorline be the one to make the move to the inside. I mean, Paul's got a good car. Look, he's on the. Oh, look at this. He's on the outside of the 20 38. He's still going to move. Paul oh, doesn't have it. Nope. And in fact, Meacham's going to make the move underneath Pollard here coming off turn one. I swear to God. Okay. Oh, oh three wide. wide. Berg held it in there. Nice. Berg is driving it. Here comes Zorline. Man, this is more TV time than I wanted. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Gerald. Thank you. <laughs> Jonathan Zorline was able to grab third away from Brennan Berg. It's Meacham into second. Who has the experience of a win so far this week? Can he use that? He went from the fifth row to the winner in the green white checker. Well, you gotta remember, Katie Elizabeth in the seven back here also has experience going to victory lane this weekend. Now, the thing I'm looking at is, uh, the, like, if we, since they got a caution lap like 13 and 12, they still gonna make one more pit stop, maybe with two to three laps to go, so who can stretch it and who can stay out the longest? Well, it depends on the pit window, doesn't it? These guys might have been able to pit from there and make it. Who knows? Daniel, that's probably why. That's a good strategy by Daniel in the 66 and the 15. Can they move, put the, push their way to the front with staying out that extra lap? Is the caution lights out? No. Yes, they were. Caution is out. Okay. Gabe Williams. Matthews is slow. Track. Um, we have a ganga or we have a debris caution on the racetrack. Someone tells me it might be the Kyle Matthews machine that has gone around. I'm having a feeling that is Looking at true. the guys up here, how about Henry was able to actually get past some of the guys who pitted before him under the caution. Yeah, but I bet a lot of people pit, and now we're going to have a stack up. This is not good. And, uh, we have another oh, stack up. That's going to suck. Kyle Matthews is going to fly. Where's Kyle Matthews? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, these guys are going to come flying into here. I'm, I'm just waiting for the plow. All right. No plow here, but I'll wait for the back markers. Here we go. Here I come, my MC Mon. Oh, I see smoke. Oh, that's where the cost is from. Oh, here goes Matthews. Like a bat out of hell. <laughs> Not that bad. And here comes one more, one more to go. Well, he's way too far behind. I don't think he's going to. So let's go ahead and take a look back at what happened to bring out the caution. And we are back. Here's what happened coming off turn number one. Watch the eight of Charles Jackson and the 44 of Kyle Matthews. Well, um, this is pulling a Robin Shannon here, and then watch this. Oh, God. Almost grip flip. Oh, this Gerard. <laughs> You're riding it. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> but just a single car spin here. I don't know why Gabe Williams had come down to pit road. Uh, Gabe, uh... Had but, no fuel also. I don't know. He was able to come back out. Who knows? But maybe a strategy call there on Gabe Williams' part. He was he's able to stay on the lead to make the pit stop. Um, I think he's I think he's fun because he's not going to be that far back. I mean, we we should check that. Well, who knows? Uh, I think he should be able to stay on the lead lap. Let's go back to the restart though. And we are back. The same 37 cars that started this race are still on the track. This screen's going to freeze for a moment. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Mary Shelley is the leader. There will be 10 to go when they get the green flag. Then it's Trevor Meacham, Brennan Berg, Jonathan Zorline, Momo Akari, Mary Cole, Ish Taylor, Dylan Young, Gene Sanfer, and Bram Paris in the top 10. You can tell that the lap cars are not coming to the inside because Pollard's right back here. Then you have PJ Williams, Tom Shelley, Maxwell Chan, Katie Elizabeth, Will Lewis, Chris Washer, Ali Nelson, Tristan Wilhoit, Chris Louvier. Kyle Sosnowski, Jeff James, Troy King, Kyle Thomas, Jessica Shelton, Alex Hawkins, Charles Jackson, Seth Cole, Henry Sanford, Drew Austin, Alex May, Daniel Day, Tom Gerard, Makoto Gucci, Eric and Rage, and Gabe Williams, the top 35, and our lead lap cars. 
Steven, you think we're first, done with please. cautions yet? Uh, no, I don't think so either, Charles. I think we might have to spend an hour trying to figure out the green white checker here with all these different base teams. Well, who knows? Uh, some interesting things up here at the front. We have two guys going, or two drivers going for the third win of the season in Shelley and Meacham. Two drivers in their debut in Berg and Zorline. One driver who is just looking for good runs to build up some momentum for next season, probably, in Momo. Very, very good. Very, very disappointing because Momo is running a championship contending team as we're going back green. Yeah, that team has has is the only team to actually win the title so far, with season one going to Tony Hurd in the 30 and season two going to Meacham in the 31. But green well, flag is back part. out. You got to make your move here because if you don't make your move, the theory is going to pull out and he's, he's doing it. Check it out. We still have a pit stop to go here. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. They've had some caution laps now since then. Well, 31's all over that back bumper. I'm thinking the 31's going to dive it in there. I'm thinking well, they do my wreck. Zorline in the battle for third. How about Kari almost debating on throwing it in there? But Meacham, yeah. yes, all over the back bumper of Mary Shelley. Oh, Meacham got the curve there. That was not good by Meacham. He needs to get a little more faster. He can catch him. Oh, catch her, whatever her name is. Oh, uh, no. Mary? That's Mary Shelley sure. in 38. He, well, uh, no pun intended. Turn me to throw a hail mary to turn one. Oh, there we go. Here we go. He's peeking. He got yeah. it. He, he there got he the is. run. He's there. I think that's where that grip is coming into play. Is that the inside line now can hold it off turn three? Ah, uh, well, this is gonna bring Zorline first ever start in any series of Charles Point's first ever NR start. He's gonna come up here maybe win the race. Well, I don't know if it's first ever. NR start, but definitely first on any mind, and he's taking a peek inside of Mary Shelley into turn two. Oh, wow. He dive bombed 14. it in there. And he threw it in there. He threw it in there like Dale, and he made it work. He definitely made it work. Berg into fourth. Akari fifth. Then it's Ish Taylor sixth. The battle for seventh on between Byron Patterson and now Mary Cole and Dylan Young battle for eighth. Here comes Tom Shelley in that 45. We saw him evolve that lot earlier. Rack, you know, he's up in the top ten. Yeah. Shelly, who is the top 10 coming around this time? Tom Shelly. Tom is in 10th, exactly. Called it. And now the 14 is reeling in that 31. I mean, he's got the draft. The 38 going to peak. That's going to kill the run. No, he's not. Back and inside the, the 14. We still got a pit stop, I believe. Oh, here comes Berg to kill that run. He's going to save everybody. Oh, uh, who knows? Oh, this would be interesting if get in. Oh my gosh, what a dive bomb effort. And Brendan Berg threw it in there like, holy crap, he threw it in there. Chevy Jesus Ford Christ. Dodge. One, Chevy Ford Dodge. Run the one, two, three right now. The top. Oh my gosh, the it's right into the lead. Doorline, first ever. This has this hasn't happened since season two. This is unbelievable. I, don't, I was second. not expecting. I don't the one, two. Guys have never made a start before in any series. This is, well, I mean, well, oh, I had the first. This weekend, before, let's just say before this weekend, a car in the third. The other yeah, one this is the car. The worst, the worst guy in points. The two guys who've never made a start in the top three. I think the Illumina. And here goes Berg, my pick. Yeah, Berg inside of Zorline. Holy crap. This is an amazing race. But we still got pit stops. That's the thing. And they're going to wreck me. Inside of Meacham. Patterson's on the top line. Oh god, this is getting intense. The 19, my pick, I haven't had my pick actually win a race this season, so this is a good bragging right. Ish oh. now inside of Meacham. The guy who can't get a top 10 nationwide, but can surely get a top 5 in Cup. Um... He goes to Akari. Yeah, Akari inside of, I think that's Zorline. Zorline, yeah, that 14, uh, the, that doesn't have the best toy spell, but he still flies. And he's gonna throw the block though. Not able yeah. to. As it's still Dodge, Ford, and Chevy, the top three, just different cars now. I'm pulling for Brendan Berg. I'm, not because he's just my pick, but I really wanted to only winning their first ever start. Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, look at this. Now Mary Shelley inside of Zorline for yeah. third. Mary's car has come back to life right now. Just remember, we might have to have pit stuff. You see the way they're entering the corner. They might pull it into the pit. Who knows? And the 13 of Gabe Williams is in the best shape of everybody's head. Uh, I think he would be. Who knows? He's 15 seconds. Oh, whoa, actually, wait. 13's up to 30 seconds. He's four seconds back. So, yeah. It's a Gucci and, and Rage are off the pace. There is 
Gabe Williams just in the back of the picture. I don't know if anybody, the last that they, they didn't even make 18 laps in Nationwide yesterday, and they came on lap 12. That was a kind of a bad call, so I don't know what's going to happen. People did make 18 laps, and that's why I had the checkers. You run out, run across the line. Here goes Mary. Well, who knows? Let's see. Mary Shelley inside for second. There's a battle for fifth between Zorline and De Young. Dylan Young has three wins. He's going for his fourth. Not what the field wanted to see at all. Um, Gosh. I think you're looking at the wrong guy. Doesn't he have three wins? Um, no, he has two career wins. He has none this season. Oh, I'm looking at the guy who, uh, okay, nobody even you're has You're thinking of the wins. points leader. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking about the nationwide, never mind. Speaking of points, look... though, how about Will Lewis, second in the points, making his first appearance in the top ten today? He's really charging late, but I don't know. Eh? <laughs> this is, Jeff I don't James know this makes it three wide inside of, I think, Thomas and Patterson back there. That's not going to work. We might have a green white checker in seven because of that. Go back here. Let's so. see. Oh. It was between Thomas and Patterson. I think we've got to look up the battle for the league because I think they're about to have a good battle between Shelly and Berg. Berg doesn't have the experience to hold them off, so when Shelly gets to the inside, he's screwed. The 14 car of uh, Sahara is uh, in big trouble. The first time you actually mispronounce it, Zor <laughs> Zorline, the 14. Zorline. If I have it on the screen, you can pronounce it, but that's it. And look at Mary. Mary turn number three. Three laps Mary to go at the strike. Can Berg hold him off? Okay, he finished Mary's second yesterday. Got Mary's got the better car here, but I don't know. Here comes this Taylor. I mean, he can't get do crap in nation one, but he can obviously do well in cup. But here he comes. Oh, man, it's going to get close. He's probably going to block for his life. Oh, How about oh, the oh. fact that still, you can say Dodge, Ford, Chevy, run one, two, three. All three manufacturers in the top three spots. Where's my Pontiac, though? Will Lewis into fifth. Will Lewis, man, what a late. Oh, here they come. Here they go. Shelly throws it in. Oh, he's got Turner. He made it, oh, she made it stick it. inside of Berg, and she's going to grab the race lead. But here comes Akari in that 07. I think he has a shot at it. She, oh. She. And remember, she, she. Akari is a two-time nationwide winner this season. Oh, God, and one that takes stadium a few weeks, and they can get single file here. The old seven might have a shot. Two laps to go. Does anybody pit? Who knows? Gabe Williams is moving up through the field. They must have done something on that pit stop. I mean, he had the whole rear end taken off the car, and I, I think the, the 19th is not going to make my pick, my dream come true until next season. I don't season, think but so uh, either. Akari into second, Ish Taylor into third, and Will Lewis might be looking for fourth there. I Bird think the got the run down the stop. straightaway, though. The old seven got a shot at it. I'm gonna say that if he gets good enough draft, he throws it in. He throws it in there. Oh no, it's gonna get close. Oh god, he's right there. I mean, he there. He just has to throw it into two in the tunnel oh, third. Oh, this is gonna be very interesting. And before the uh, 38 pit. <laughs> no way is she pink. She's on the outside line here, coming off turn four. Will Lewis pick up fifth? Will Lewis? Will Lewis from fifth 40. cannot make it. Tough, tough break for second in the point. That's bad luck. Brendan Burr. second. Now that makes me wonder, can everybody make it around, especially the leader? Oh, the somebody's Richie coming out of the pit. Oh, no, that's good. This is going to be bad. Oh, God. This ain't going to be good. Everyone's going to slide up the hill there. 38's a little a slow. 38's got the win here if, they, if she doesn't have to pit. I think she, I think you're right in that. Burn though, into second. Ish Taylor going for third. I think it shows going for more than third. Berg could be looking at a runner-up finish in Nationwide and Cup for his debut. That, that is actually amazing. Oh, he's going to throw it in there. Well, he it's tried, not but it's not going to work, I fifth. think. No. Off of turn number three, down to the start-finish line, and Mary Shelley grabs her third win of the season. Jesus Christ, that was an amazing race. Anybody else pit coming to the line? Who knows? <laughs> and out of the pit goes that 98. Chris Bouvier. Well, Lewis. Lewis was on pit road. Well, Lloyd came to the pit. Wow, top break for the guys. Wall. So. Back here. And that was a great race. Ah, oh, God. I'm out of breath. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Mary Shelley grabs her third win of the season. Where did the 17 finish? 13th. Not going to be enough, I think. So... 
Looks like Patterson will hang on to the points lead for yet another day. And then, oh my god, that was good. Oh no, that might be trouble. <laughs> Getting him a little lump after. That was amazing. The top ten here today, Mary Shelley, Brennan Berg, Ish Taylor, Momo Akari, Dylan Young, PJ Williams, Henry and Gene Sanford, Trevor Meacham, and Jonathan Zorline grabs the top ten. It was debut. Um, looking through, Jeff James, a 12th place run. Couldn't quite better his old car, but <laughs> um, still a great run for Jeff. Patterson in 13th should hang on to the points lead. And the, and the two Sanfords in the top 10, and then one Sanford with no fuel. Uh, yeah. Um, looking down, Gabe Williams able to come back to a 23rd place finish, so not bad for the guy who's going to leave here probably 6th in points. Uh, take a look at the Bama standings. I guess ignore the Will Hoyt retired part. I don't know. And Stephen Paul the third with an amazing comeback return. <laughs> yeah, thirty sixth. Yes, yeah, so that, that was our amazing. Uh, that was our amazing driving right there. Well, so you're accustomed enough. You know that now was time for your final thoughts on the race. So let's have it. Um, my final thoughts was that was a, that was a hell of a race. Mary Shelley always had the best car. The tires didn't kick in on that last restart, but she drove it from like fifth to the lead. Tough break for Berg. He couldn't win in his debut, but great, great start to his career. Um, well, I'm really excited. I don't know what the next race is, but the I next sure race is the road course in Portland. So Mary Shelley, I know, oh. circling that one because she's one of the specialists on the road courses. And I and I'm kind of like good with drafting. Like this, that's a draft line track. Is that no chicane there? So when you get to go down that long back after it's like running here and some other tracks, like Pig Day and Pig Creek, some guys will be used to the draft there. So that would be really good coming down that no chicane part. Well, and I know Mary Shea, another reason why she's looking forward to that, uh, she was able to win the truck race at Portland last year when the trucks went there for the uh, for season one. Uh, this is the first time that Cup and Nationwide are going to Portland, so it should be interesting to see how that goes. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, congrats to Mary Shelley on the win. Well-deserved. Um, Patterson, I think, will hang on to the points lead. Uh, good job by the uh, debut drivers other than Sanford because he couldn't catch a break all weekend, it seemed like. But, oh, well. Um, but that will wrap it up here for Pocono, and we'll see you guys next week at Portland. See ya.